Eukarya unicorns. What is unicorn and how the unicorn classification is arranged? So eukaryal branch has got unicorns and icons. I told you in the last class, right? Cavalier Smith introduced these terms in 2004. So unicorn has got, uh, you know, the classical uh, animals and fungi, and also quite related uh, groups like uh, quinoflagellate, you know, and nucleotides. All these are part of the unicorn. So as you can see in this unicorn, there are two kingdom: kingdom fungi and kingdom animalia, as per the Cavalier Smith. So here you can see the mainly the two major uh, group of the unicorn is the opistocon and amoebozoa, right? Amoebozoas are uh, amoebae and slime mold and parasitic protists, right? While opistocon is very interesting. It is a group of animals and fungi. All these things together is called opistocon, you know. And inside now you can see that animals is also called metazoa. Right, metazoans, quinoflagellate, that is collared flagellate. So, flagella has got a kind of a collar like uh, uh, you know the basal structure. So, as you can see here, the animal sister clade is quinoflagellate. So, it is from uh, the current day quinoflagellate, you can say that the animals, uh, the, the earliest uh, animals evolved. So, or you can say the earliest ever animal evolved might be quite similar to current day quinoflagellate because these two are the sister plates. Then uh, Philasteria, then Ichthyosporia. Ichthyo means fish, right? So it has something to do with the fish. Then fungi, including mushrooms, sac fungi, yeast, molds, rusts, and smarts, nuclearids, uh, phylos, amoebae, and nuclearia, right? And amoebozoa. So, as you can see here, unicorn is kind of animal and animal-like uh, group. So, classically, what is uh, what is this? Bo uh, unicorn has something to do with botanists. So, yes, botanists, the because of fungi is considered to be like a half plant and half animal in earlier groups. So that is why in the botany syllabus, the uh, you know the fungi and mushrooms are being taught. But it is actually inaccurate in one sense. It's not a plant. It's not photosynthetic. A fungi is, uh, you know, in the current classification system, the phylogenetic system, this is a phylogenetic based system, a fungi is a lot more similar to animals rather than you know, the plants, you know. So it is a unicorn. You see the, the major uh, division or the major domain uh, among the eukaryotes. So fungi is quite similar to the animals rather than the plants. Right. So, if you look at the, the unicorn, which is fungi and animals, have a single emergent flagellum or, or amoebae with no flagella. So, it could be no flagella or just one flagellum. So, unicorns include opistocons, which is animal, fungi and related forms, and amoebozoa. Some are autotrophic. Some of the amoebae are, are autotrophic, while others are heterotrophic. So, heterotrophy is uh, more common, of course, uh, uh, you know, it is uh, almost all prevailing or all pervasive in among the unicorns, but some are exceptions. So, ancestrally, single flagella with single basal body is the unicorn. That is how the defining characteristic of synapomorphic trait of the unicorns. In general, there are two kinds of uh, unicorn amoebozoans and opistocons. So, inside amoebozoans, right, amoeba and related, right, slime mold like fuligo. A gymnamoeba example is defulgia and entamoeba example is entamoeba you know entamoeba itself is a genus name so you, see, you can see one dot here the red dot that means that this is a potential animal pathogen entamoeba of course it can uh, uh, cause us dysentery entamoeba histolytica right you might have heard of it coming to opisocon nuclearates uh, nuclearia is an example genus fungi of course penicillium is a genus Coenoflagellate, coenoflagellate, proterospongia is an example. Then for animals, of course, a human, homo or felis, uh, whatever, right? So it's a metazoan. So as you can see, coenoflagellate and animals together form a clade, while fungi and nucleonids together form a clade. So together, all these are called opistocons. So amoebozoas are amoebas found in fresh and salt water as well as in the moist soil. Uh, amoeba feeds by you know wrapping around its uh, prey the pseudopod right phagocytosis that is how the amoeba uh, the nutrition so entamoebas are parasites of the vertebrates and some invertebrates so entamoeba historitica amoebic dysentery 
right? Opisthoconta is a very large clade characterized by a combination of flattened mitochondrial cristae and one posterior flagellum on the flagellated cells. So it includes animals, fungi, coenoflagellate and microsporidians. You know, all these are examples of opisthocons. Nucleariids, uh, what is this nucleariids? So with the one phyllos pseudopods, of course, uh, pseudopod you can know, call it as one or uh, multiple, it is uh, you know, it's a shapeless, uh, you know, appendage, right? It's commonly found in soil and fresh water and phylogenetically it's quite related to the fungi. Nuclearia is an example of the nucleariids. So coming to fungi, we have already covered the entire classification of the fungi uh, in this module. So it's multicellular except yeast and absorptive heterotroph, right? So it digests the food outside by the body and then absorb it. So it's absorptive, right? As cell walls is made up of chitin. So it has got chitin. That is a major characteristic of the fungi. So fungi has got various divisions including Basidia, Mycota, Ascomycota together they are very similar so Dicaria is uh, the group then uh, Glomeromycota, Zygomycota uh, you know and uh, Blastoclum, uh, no, Cladio, Blastocladiomycota then Chytridiomycota so Chytridium is a very uh, a famous uh, marine fungi as well you know uh, and uh, many of these you know Microsporidia, Rosella all these are uh, the in, inside the fungi, the classification we have already covered that in the fungi module of this uh, uh, this course. Coenoflagellates, as you know, this is a collar. The flagella has the basal structure has got like collar-like structures. That is why it's a coenoflagellate. Free-living colonial unicellular protist, closest extant relatives, the most recent common ancestor, MRCA of the animals. So coenoflagellate is a sister clade to the animals, so metazoans, you know. So that is why it is a uh, you know, it is the closest extant relative, not extinct, but extant. So extant means currently present in, on the planet Earth, right? So this is how the metazoans are uh, classified. As you can see, the amoebozoa is the earliest splitting. Then comes opistocont, then fungi, then coenoflagellate and metazoans. So inside metazoan, the classification, as you know, the animal classification, if you look at that, porifera, nidaria, and dinophora, then bilateria. Lophotrochoso and Ectisosa then deuterostomia. Right? Earlier they called it as protostomes, but that is invalid. Now it is not a clade. Right? So only clades are named monophyletic clades. So deuterostomia is a clade. These are the examples of the deuterostomia. Right? Bilateria, these are the examples. While metazoa, of course, metazoa and so are all animals, right? Together. So inside deuterostomia, echinodermata and chordata. Inside chordata, urochordata and vertebrates. Inside vertebrates, fish and tetrapods. Inside tetrapods, sarcopterygi and amniotes. Inside amniotes, you can see mammals and sauropsids. So inside sauropsid, you can see reptiles and apes. So phylogenetically, reptiles and apes are part of one same clade. You know, dinosaur. You can call the chicken as a kind of a dinosaur. Yeah, they both share a, a lot of things together. Uh, you know, reptiles and apes. So that is why Saropsida is a uh, you know, classification scheme. You can see that here. This is like a, a mix of old and new system together in one format. So the creatures of India is one of my book, uh, which has been published many years back. So the phylogenetic classification system of animals, creatures of India, especially on Indian animals. So this is an image from that book of mine. Uh, you know, it's a it's kind of a popular science book all about Indian animals. So ancestral coenoflagellate to porifera and uh, nidaria and tinophores, and then you can see that there is a uh, you know there is a polytomy here. Multiple things are splitting: platyhelminthes, nematodes, and then one more split here that forms annelid, mollusk and arthropods. Arthropods and nematode together is ectisosa because it can, uh, you know, it can um, shed its scales. Platyhelminthes and annelids together is called lophotrochoso or a group, uh, annelids plus platyhelminthes. Then here you can see echinoderms and chordates. So this is how the animal classification system works.